Hi, I'm Michael Duenas and I'm a New York and Los Angeles based hairdresser. Today I'm here to show you guys how to do a tousled beachy look inspired by Jennifer Aniston. And for that we're going to be using the Herbal Essence Tossle Me Softly collection. So you're going to start off with having your hair nice and damp. You want to make sure it's clean, get all that product out so that way you have a nice clean foundation to start on. First thing that we're going to use is we're going to start using a mousse on it just to give it a little bit of root lift. So now that we have the mousse evenly distributed through her roots to her mid shafts, we're gonna go through with a styling cream. For that, we're just gonna be taking a little bit of the cream. You wanna scoop up just a small amount. And you wanna make sure, again, that you emulsify it really well in your hands, because if you don't emulsify, you end up with big chunks going out throughout the hair. So we're just gonna show you, got it nice and spread out. And you're just gonna work that through the mid shaft to the ends. And you wanna make sure you just kinda comb it through. So now that we have the product diffused through our hair, we're gonna go ahead and use our blow dryer on it. You really wanna make sure you have the concentrator on your blow dryer. That way you can really focus the directional airflow towards the scalp and the roots. Cause that's where we wanna start getting some lift. It's really easy to do at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Alexa show you how you can do that. So now that we have the product nicely diffused through our hair and everything's brought through, we're going to go ahead and blow dry. You really want to make sure that you section the hair off, so that way you end up with a nice clean blow dry. Even though we're going for a diffused beachy look, you really want to make sure that your sections you can blow dry and get thoroughly dry and smooth them out. We're going to be using a boar bristle round brush, and you're not going to be stretching through the hair. You're just going to take it once and just really work on smoothing it out. You're just going to smooth it once without the dryer on it, and you're just basically going to roll it up. And you're just going to unroll it and you're just gonna take the dryer and just dry through this area until you get it nice and smooth without stretching through the hair constantly. And then roll it back up. After you have it nice and dry, it's nice and heated up, you're just gonna slowly drop out the brush with a little twist, and you're done. So now Alexis is gonna show you how easy it is for you to do at home. Just how I showed you before, you're just gonna take the brush and smooth it out all the way towards the ends. And then once you have the ends in the brush, you're gonna roll it all the way back up to your scalp. And then you're just gonna take the dryer and you're gonna start drying it. Once it's cool, you can drop it completely out. So now you have the blow dry part of it. So this way the hair falls nice and natural and it kicks off back away from the face. And now we're going to show you the finishing touches with a curling iron. What you want to do is you're not going to spray the entire head first because then the hair cell will dry before you get to it. We're going to be spraying small sections. We're just going to be grabbing random sections of hair and you're just going to give it a light mist of hairspray. Open up the blade and just go ahead and wrap the hair around. You want to get it until it's nice and warm. You don't want to make it so it's hot, but just nice and warm. And then you're slowly going to drop it down. Just so want to make sure you grab enough curls from everywhere. Big pieces, small pieces, it just adds to the depth and dimension of the look that you're trying to create. Take your iron, go ahead and wrap the hair all the way around, just till it's nice and warm. You don't want to overcook the hair, but always make sure your blade is open. So we're just grabbing another random piece. Remember, you don't want to have too much continuity in it because you want it to be nice and tousled. Lightly mist it down with a hairspray, just enough so you can feel a little bit on there. Take the iron, open the blade and wrap it all the way around the barrel. You don't have to focus about getting it too close to your scalp because you want it to be straighter towards your root area. You just hold it until it gets nice and warm. And then once you have it nice and warm, you're gonna drop it out and you'll see that nice little curl coming through. So once you get the hair so it's nice and heated up enough and you can get the nice curl in there, you're just gonna drop it out. And this is our last curl that we're doing. So now I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna go through. We're just gonna make it a little bit more tousled. You just wanna reach in at the scalp and just shake it out. If you get a little bit of frizz, that's okay. It's just gonna add to that nice tousled look. So we're just reaching in and just lightly shaking. And there you have it, your nice, soft, tousled Jennifer Aniston look.